Wow, what an incredible day. It's amazing out here. It's like freezing at the freezing point. So zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've been walking for about 10 minutes and already I am overheating. I'm gonna finish this portage. It's about a kilometer long. And then on the other side, I'm gonna have a drink of water, take off this uh, wool jacket, put on my baseball hat, and hopefully let some of the cool air get to my body because I just don't want to overheat and start sweating so early in the day. But yeah, it's, it's amazing out here. You can tell I'm out of breath. I'm just walking up a little bit of a hill right now, carrying this heavy backpack. I need to get into hiking shape right away. First portage, biggest one, done. But I still have a long ways to go. I'm about a quarter of the way there. Looks good, untouched, right on. I got a chill right now. I can feel it all over me because I was sweating like crazy out there in that sun, but it's not that warm. It's only zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit inside this tent right now. And so now that I'm, now that I'm uh, cooling down, that sweat is getting really, really cold against my skin. I can feel it. There's a chill. I had to put my toque back on. My baseball cap is soaking right now because I was so hot coming across the lake. So I'm going to start the fire right away. I'm laying in a good bed here. <clears throat> to start this thing. Okay. There we go. I love these little fire starters. Although now that I have my sense of smell back, I realize that they've got like a, a perfume scent to them. Give off a nice smell. So I can't leave them around camp. Bears will love that. They'll just get curious and come on in if they think there's food. I was reading that bears are interested in uh, toothpaste, they're interested in deodorant, anything that just ha gives off a strong smell. So when you have these things that smell like a bit, a bit like perfume, then it could be concerning, I guess.
Wow, it's beautiful in here now. 25 degrees Celsius in the back. So that's like what, 80 degrees Fahrenheit in here right now? That's perfect. That is perfect. And uh, I'm just getting settled in. And so look, I've got some critical supplies here. Bear bangers. And I definitely feel good about having these here. Now they come with a pen. And this pen has got like a little, it's like almost like a little, uh, it's a trigger obviously. And it's just spring loaded trigger. And it, what I have to do is unscrew this, unscrew it, screw it in here, right? Now, if I fire this, I, I would probably go deaf and catch my tent on fire. And then what I need to do <clears throat> is pull back this trigger right here, pull it back, release it, and it's going to hit that. Firing pin is going to hit this and it's going to go just like a gun. You can see here, that spring is, that spring is definitely tight and strong. That goes off just like that. Bang. This thing is going to shoot out a, 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 a loud bang. It's a bit of a flare action. And that should terrify a bear. In theory, that should work. So the thing is about this is you need a, you need a couple of seconds, right? To, to get at it and to, to get yourself ready. So I'm in a fortunate situation where I have other stuff. I've got this bear horn too. So this bear horn I think would be first defense. And so if I see a bear and it's coming close, I'm gonna honk this. And if that doesn't scare it away, I mean, this thing is super duper loud. I'm not gonna set it off now. Um, it's, I expect for a bear to take off if it hears this. And it'll just frighten it, right? And it'll wanna run. Bears don't necessarily like humans unless they're desperate, um, starving, and they're waking up now and yes, they're gonna be hungry, but from what I understand, they're gonna be a bit groggy. And this right here is the bear spray. Now this is always on me. It's always in my, my little uh, holster here. And so what you do is pull that back, fire, very easy. Now you want the bear to be within like 25 feet of you before you fire in order to make sure you hit it. This stuff comes out with like intense power. It'll shoot straight as long as you're not in the wind and a bear gets a little whiff of that. If it touches its face, it is gone. It does not like the sensation. No one likes getting hit with bear spray. I'm pretty sure about that. Bears would be extra sensitive to it because their sense of smell is so keen. And of course you get it in their eyes and their face. They're not going to want to come back. This is my, this is like the one that I think would really save me if I ever ran into a bear. So it's the horn. Get away bear. Maybe the bear takes off and is still a little bit curious, comes back. I would be keeping a close eye on the situation. Then it's okay. Now I'm going to hit you with this. And so I would probably at the same time, if a bear came and I, and I um, fired the horn and it just like kind of took off in the woods a little bit. I'd come back and I'd load this and I'd have this ready to go and I'd have my bear spray ready to go in hand and I'd probably be out there on alert watching to see what the bear does and hopefully it just goes away right so but I feel like if it do, did come back and I hit it with this it would run um, and if I fired this in the general direction of the animal because I don't think I'd really want to hit it with the flare but the bear banger, I think that would really terrify it as well. So it just has to get, you know, the, it just has to realize that coming around Jay's tent is not pleasant. So this is what I have for food, English muffins, noodles, tea, a couple of ginger ales. I have some cheesies for tonight, little snack. I brought more coffee. I have bacon strips and steak in here. So the steak is for supper tonight. And these, uh, these pork belly sliced 
uh, bacon, not bacon, pork <laughs> slivers. I'm having that for breakfast tomorrow. This is supper. Beautiful ribeye steak. I'll be cooking all of this stuff outside. Look, fruit. I actually brought fruit. Grapes. And I have some butter. I also have some cheese, which I'm sure the bears would love. Some steak spice, pork spice, and uh, chicken spice all mixed together. I have some tomatoes, and I have a yellow pepper, and I have some carrots. So on the side of my steak tonight, I'm gonna have this. And I'll, I'll fry this up in a pan um, out on the fire. So I'm actually gonna eat vegetables. <laughs> I'm not just gonna have potatoes and steak, which is what I normally have. Okay. Did a different trick with the toast today. Seemed to work. Oh. butter. These have lost quite a bit of their heat so this butter probably won't melt but that's okay. I also have a lot eh? Oh no! I don't have a fork. <laughs> I did a double spoon. This is my, like, I probably can't even get my mouth around that, but I'm just gonna use it to pull off the uh, the noodles. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to make myself some sort of fork, and I'm not like I'm not good at like making <laughs> cutlery um, forks. Hmm. Yes, man. Mm-hmm. There's a bit of gum in here and it's really sticky unfortunately so I need to have my chopsticks so that the gum side like I don't want to be holding on to it like this because it it just sticks look see that how sticky it is so if I hold it on this side that won't be an issue for me so what I need to do is just trim this up a bit, make it a little bit tighter, and they should be good. That one right there is pretty nice, actually. I want them to be as straight as possible. Let's see. Not bad.
It's not light. I'll tell you that much for sure. It is not light. But I think I'll just leave it here for now until all the snow melts. Got all these little bits that collected over the winter from me cutting. So, good little way to get the, the barbecue stove going. And when I come back and all this is melted, because there's lots of ice here, I'll clean this all up really nicely around the tent. tried to burn this maybe during the winter or last fall it's so rotten but that birch bark will light I'm pretty sure although it's a bit damp let's see it's pretty damp but if it does it'll go up good Sounds good. Now I've got all these little bits. Oh, that smells good too. Now, I was going to cook in the little barbecue part of this uh, stove, but I decided not to. I'm gonna do everything in this pan, and a big reason why I'm cooking outside is because the bears are awake, so I want to be able to uh, cook, you know, meat especially, outdoors.
ていうね Alright, time to check out the chopsticks and the steak. The steak is, this is weird. <laughs> uh, the steak is medium rare for sure, pretty bloody. No, it's not. It's gonna be perfect. Oh my god, the juices are flowing. Juices are flowing. That's pretty good. Now well, let's see if I can get these working. Yes. Mm. Oh man. Mm. That is so flavorful. Wow. Mmm. Nice easy loop. That's nice and tight. If I want to release it, it's going to come pull this cord right here and that's coming down. Crystal got me a bunch of teas. I started really getting back into tea about a month ago. And this one is a black tea, it's a chai. And that is strong, <laughs> that is strong. Mmm, smells good. This is a great way to end the day. It's about 8.30 and the sun is like, it's way up still. And at this point, in the year it does still get dark but only for a couple of hours and there's like this blue like tint or hue in the sky all night long now so before before we know it it'll be 24 hour daylight it'll be just like this all the time this type of ambient light that you see me in right now anyway i know you're supposed to steep these for like I don't know, two minutes, but a lot of people like to just squish the tea bag, the water through the tea bag, just to speed it up. I do like a, a gentle stir, you know, and then it, uh, it's like it pushes the hot water through the tea bag a little bit faster, but it doesn't like squish the tea bag up against the side of the cup. And for dessert with the tea, I'm having some dairy milk, which is just like maybe the best chocolate, really. It might be the best chocolate. I know there's like high-end chocolate that is better than this, but when you go to the store and you want like the best chocolate bar, then you get a dairy milk, a Cadbury dairy milk. It's just something about it. Mmm. It was a great day and I'm gonna drink this tea. I'm gonna eat these little chocolate bars and then I'm gonna go to bed.
perfect day. Holy smokes, is it ever nice outside. <clears throat> Just beautiful. It's warm. Calm. Sunny. A little bit of snow left. It's perfect. I gotta make breakfast, have some coffee. This splitter is good, but I don't know if it's going to crack through a whole piece of wood. No problem.
these bacon sides, whatever they are, pork belly sides, are incredible. I keep the fat on. I like it fatty because it just tastes better. It just does. It just tastes so much better. Mmm. So greasy. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. This has been a really good time for me. I'm, I'm loving coming out here in the spring, walking across that lake, getting a bit of exercise, and just taking in the, the very last, the last little bits of snow. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back really soon.